In this video, you'll discover what you need to do to get your virtual assistant and virtual expert business set up legally. Specifically, you'll learn the basics about business entities, licenses, sales tax, and tracking expenses. Hi, I'm Kathy Guggenauer, business coach and trainer exclusively for virtual assistants. I've helped hundreds of women just like you achieve their dreams of working from home as VAs. On this channel, I will show you how to get the career you want and gain the freedom, flexibility, and financial security you desire and deserve. I want to begin by giving a disclaimer today. I am not an attorney or an accountant. I highly recommend talking with one of those to help you set up your business. Accountants are not expensive. In fact, I found that CPAs who stay on top of what's happening in the small business tax world save me more money than they cost me. It's time to find someone you trust and can build a relationship with. If you want recommendations, go ahead and go to our Expert VA Facebook group and ask and we'll share recommendations with you. I want to share information with you today on how you can talk with your attorney or an accountant so you'll be well informed. Your first step in setting up your business legally is to choose a business entity. Most new VAs choose to start their businesses as a sole proprietor. It's the easiest and costs the least to be a sole proprietor. And all you have to do is schedule is <laughs> for your taxes is file a Schedule C. There are other legal entities you can consider. One is an LLC, a limited liability corporation. You can Google that to learn more about it or talk with your attorney or accountant. Those business entities like an LLC help you separate your business from your personal so that if you were to get sued, you don't have to have those two intermingled. There's another insurance you might want to look into called Errors and Omissions Insurance. Google that insurance to learn more about it. It's not expensive and it can be a safety net. Now let's talk about getting your business license. Most cities and counties raise money by requiring a business license. They don't regulate your business, but if you file a Schedule C or other tax form for reporting your business income, chances are you'll be required to have a business license. Go to your city or county's website for information and the form you need to file. If your city or county is keeping up with technology, you can apply online and pay for your license online. If you can't find anything online for your area, call your county's government office and they will be able to guide you and tell you exactly what you need to do. Generally, the person you want to talk to is the city clerk or county clerk. Just tell them that you're starting a business in their county from your home and you need to find out if, you, if they have a business license or registration that you need to set up. You may also need to get set up with sales tax. If your state, city, or county requires you to, to collect sales taxes for your VA services, you'll need to do that. You'll also need to report and pay those taxes to the appropriate government entity. Again, check with your state, county, and city to find out if you have to collect sales tax for your services. Very few states are currently requiring this, but I want you to be sure to check to be sure. Now let's get into setting up a bank account and credit card exclusively for your business. Ideally, you want to open a bank account and credit card that will only be used for your business. You want to do that so you keep your personal and business funds separate. That's important for tax purposes. It's not required, but it makes it much easier to keep track of income and expenses. So what do you need to keep? Well, all receipts for business items, and you also want to track your car mileage. So you have the documentation needed 
if you're able to write off business expenses on your taxes. Some of the expenses you might be able to write off include training, the cost of your computer and software, the cost of paper and print cartridges and postage. You can write off car mileage anytime you do business errands, such as going to the post office to mail business items or driving to meet a client or attend live training. QuickBooks is a really good software tool to help you keep track of your income and expenses. It's a thousand times easier doing billing and collections using QuickBooks. It makes the tax process less painful and it costs a lot less per year to have your taxes done if you use QuickBooks than if you don't. Plus, it gives you a quarterly look at your balance sheet and a year-to-year -year and year-to-last-year comparisons so that you can figure out where your income and expenses are different. And then you can make wise decisions about your business. Want to learn more about how to get your virtual assistant business started? Watch my free webinar using the link below. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and then like and comment on this video. Let me know what else you want to know about getting your VA business started.